This security system is uh, based on uh, LiDAR from Velodai. We will, uh, I will show you how we're using this amazing products in, in uh, our software. First thing, what is very important for us is that our system is volumetric detection system. It's not like uh, basic uh, line detection system, basic perimetric system. I will explain you what I mean if I if I'm uh, uh, showing this as, as a volumetric system. You can see on this picture what uh, what is the basic perimetric uh, line detection system and uh, what the accurate vision is is a is a volumetric detection system. It's maybe better to explain this on this video what I what I prepare. Normal conventional security system is mainly focused on how to secure the, the perimeter on the border, on the line, which is not perfect because as you can see in, in this video, if intruder is inside in, in your area, you don't know where, where he is, you don't know how many intruders are inside, uh, it can be hidden. Mostly, this kind of the system using the 2D max, accurate vision, which is, which is, I show you on the same map. It's designed in 3D uh, at first, and it's using the volumetric uh, detection uh, lidar. So you can see like what's the difference between the conventional security system and our uh, 3D system. So if the intruder is inside in your in your area, you still know uh, where he is. The size of intruder, we know the speed of movement. We know the tra trajectory of, of movement of these uh, of these intruders. We know how many intruders are inside, <clears throat> and all the cameras. If uh, it's included, the cameras, all the cameras automatically follow the intruders. So this is like basic difference between the conventional security systems in these days and this revolutionary system based on the on the lidar detection. As I said, the second thing what is unique is that we are using the LiDAR. We are on the boot with the Velodyne and we, we choose this best company for the LiDARs and we supporting all the family of these detectors. And for our uh, systems, is, of course, we needed to use the LiDAR with the multi-channel LiDARs because it's, we, we're talking about a 3D environment, so that's why we choose the Velodyne. This video show you how, what is like uh, behind uh, our system, what is on background, which is uh, you can normally cannot see it in, in our application. How the detection working? So you can see that we are working with full uh, point cloud, what we collecting from from the from these packs, and uh, this is the white points, and you can see the red points, which is like moving points or some points what was moved after you arm the system. And we grouping this these points, and we making uh, the object from these from these points, and and then all the security stuff is above this this basic layer. Yeah, this is uh, the family of the packs from Belodyne. What we are supporting with their uh, ranges. Uh, so we are we are supporting VLP 16, VLP 16 high resolution, VLP 32C, and now we have uh, also already driver for the Alpha Pack. Well, VLS-128. This is some uh, facts about the security stuff, how, what's the range, how, how far we can detect the human bodies and, and other objects. We are producing uh, some of the, uh, these equipment for, for the LiDARs as a, as a caps, uh, holders. We can install the Velodyne packs on posts like this and we are producing uh, control boxes for, uh, for, our, uh, for our packs which is certified for the security, for the security application. Also we pass some military tests with, with these packs. For us it's very important to say that accurate vision is based on the 3D map which is also different with some other uh, security system with some graphic user interface. Our systems looks like this. We have a fully 3D maps which allows us to, to do more things with this. I will explain you later in the, in, in the next steps. How we can put the 3D map in, into the accurate vision? We have a many types how we can do it. We can import it from AutoCAD, for example. Our, our easiest way is to use the photogrammetry, the meter uh, photogrammetry technology. So you can see in this short video how, how we're doing uh, this. Actually, our customers is doing that ourselves. They don't need us. 
So you plan your uh, uh, flight mission and the drone is flying fully automatically on this grid, taking the pictures. After this is fully automatically landing on the same position when it was uh, takeoff. And then you're downloading this picture into application and in three steps, click on next, next, next. The system is automatically build this 3D map. So it's very easy, everybody can do it. So you can see this three steps. The flight mission of this uh, takes like 13 minutes or 15 minutes maximum. And then, then you have to uh, calculate it, the model or, or application is calculating this model automatically. Uh, our guys can adjust the map to add some animated, uh, animation into it, some, some elements like this, just to make this map nicer. If, if customers want it, we can, we can uh, do it like this, because our application is running on the 3D engine Unity, so we have everything what you know maybe from the gaming industry. This is also exemplation, this is the video from drone. This is the area what we, uh, what we scanned month ago and if I will click and I will show you how it looks this this area from uh, accurate vision it looks almost the same so it's uh, this is now we are in uh, accurate vision in our application you can see the moving uh, water and, and stuff like this this is what, what our guys edit but uh, normally you can see this map this is this is map uh, where the operator is working it's a fully 3d map it looks like the real you can see all the elements inside the cameras lidars and so on so this is like a first step what is uh, different between the normal security systems and our systems everything is designed in 3d so everything what you can see outside is actually inside in scale you will try to measure something in our map is real i will show you in three steps how the accurate vision looks like so now we have we have a 3d map inside in accurate vision right and i show you how easy it is to add for example camera on in on in this in this case so it's you choose the camera from the hardware tree and it's a drag and drop system so you will you will click on the camera and move on the on the proper position yeah and this is maybe good tool also for architecture because now you are able to find the best location in this case for for camera so for example i put the camera on the corner of this building and immediately you can see what the camera will see if this camera will be on this position through this uh, calibration editor yeah so it's very easy how to all the components on the on the proper position doesn't matter if it's lidar or, or camera so it's it looks like this Camera calibration, it's very easy because when you have a camera on the proper position, you have to calibrate with the map. So it's like, it's tool, looks like this. So on the left side, you, you will see uh, the real picture from camera. On the right side, it's the virtual camera in, uh, in your map. And then you have to match it to uh, these two cameras together. So you can simply find something what you recognize on both, both sides, like this, like this door click apply and that's it after this you have a calibrate this camera forever so when you will move with the camera with the real camera the virtual camera will move uh, also uh, or opposite if you will move with the virtual camera the real camera is rotating as you can see in in, in this case another thing which is which is very nice is uh, because we have a full 3d map in scale as i said it's nice uh, for to have uh, for uh, architects uh, stuff like this that we are able to present cameras also the lidars as a source of light in this case like green light so you can see when i'm moving with the cameras what the shadows are doing and shadows it's uh, it means this is the area where where the camera cannot see nothing so it's it's easy for to decide to find the best best location for the camera like this if you you can imagine we have like 50 cameras in big, uh, I don't know, some factory. It's, it's easier to unzoom and see if everything is lighting in green. It, it means that uh, you have a good, good coverage by the cameras. Similar thing we are doing with the LiDAR. So you can see in this, in this video, I put the LiDAR on the, some proper or, or some position and I can move with the, with the LiDARs and with the lidar and immediately i can see the white pot, the points which means the lasers lasers hits inside in our 3d map so this is 
easy how you can find best location for for this kind of the detectors. Now you will see, I will fly around this building and you will see all these points mixing together with uh, with more uh, LIDARs. In this case, we have like three or four, four LIDARs in this, uh, this is the real installation. So I will show you later the, the real alarm events from, from this side. If you have a uh, LIDARs on position where they supposed to be, we have another nice tool which is like virtual intruder. As you can see here, this looks a little bit like game, but it's a really strong tool for to find out if your area is really covered by the LiDAR. So you can see this uh, virtual intruder, you can walk with him, as I said, as in, in computer game, and immediately you can see this green dots on him. It means that you will have a detection on this part. So this is like uh, this tool, helps you to, to design to find the, the best location for, for the LiDAR. So it's, it's a little funny that you can you can you can walk with him, uh, climb to the wall and, and check it out. Yeah. So you can see right now growing and all these these green green points means that you are okay, everything is everything will be detected because we are still in the virtual layer. So you can you can play with it and in the real it looks the same. I will show you how it looks in the in the real. And last thing, which is I think like best things in our security system, is that you have to design the uh, the alarm zones. Alarm zones for us is again a 3D a 3D object. It has uh, all three dimensions and uh, it's very accurate. Uh, you know that of the uh, Velodyne lidars is two or three centimeters, so, so it's very accurate. So you can design the zone like this and that is enough if, if you will put the hands inside uh, system will catch you you can see that we can have uh, many of the many of the zones like this you can make some i don't know the hallways and uh, all the zones can have a different priority of alarm priorities and and many many things like this so you can see how how easy you can uh, set up uh, your area and this is like, for example, this kind of zones, which is entry zones, can be delayed, as you know, maybe from the regular security security systems and, and many, many things like this. Also, we can, of course, set up our system as a normal conventional system, which is showing right now, which uh, can be, the, the, your area can be protected only on the, on the border, on the, on the fence. Cool thing is uh, in our system that, uh, for example, like this kind of the area can be protected like this in the morning and in the evening, everything can be fully covered. So you can decide uh, how, how you wanna uh, protect your area. And when to install the accurate vision. We are mostly focusing into the uh, commercial industry, so we have some installation in nuclear power plant. We are working for military, uh, for, for airports and so on. Also, we adjust our systems for, for a, a residential uh, sector. Now I will show you how it looks in the real. You can see the alarm events. This is exactly what, what operator can see in the real. So you can see like uh, intruder is walking through the alarm zone. You can see his, uh, his size, speed of movement. You can see the trajectory. You can see like the camera is uh, following him. Now it's cool thing because you can see that this camera is rotating into him before he was over there. So it's not like video detection system. Everything is navigated by the Velodyne LiDARs. So it looks like this. This is like more uh, Actually, a lot of events like this. This is the protection of the water source. So again, you can see in this case uh, two intruders inside. So you know, you know all these details. So actually, the uh, operator can see everything like this. So for us, the operator is like uh, observer. We don't need nothing from him because the system is fully automatically controlled by by our systems in background. You, you can see. There are events like this. Also, in the next uh, video, you will see uh, the special installation for how to protect the uh, railway tunnels. 
which is also interesting because our system can filter alarms based on the size of intruder. So we can say ignore objects smaller than 50 centimeters. It means like ignore the rabbits or cats or so on. Also ignore the object bigger than something which is like which can be like moving train and only the something like big like human body will catch in by our system. So this is example how you can let the train go through the alarm uh, uh, alarm uh, zones without the uh, intrusion. Another nice exemplation is I, I let this video in because uh, you can see what on left side what the camera can see. Sometimes you can have a hard uh, weather condition and the camera can see nothing like now. On right side you can see what our system can see all the time. So we don't need a camera. It's 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 good to have the cameras because it's easy how to navigate the, the camera into the into the intrusion. But uh, you can see that our system can see more than camera. This is important also. The last thing what we develop and we release it in December is a system called Wear. And this is very smart tool because if you can imagine after installation when when the whole system is up and running, you can create the test like penetration test like this with a, again with a, a virtual intruder. But in this case, our system is uh, compare the real data, our real uh, laser points from the real lidars compares with this virtual intruder, which is very very interesting thing because you can make a test like this and ask maybe like twice, uh, two times daily, like is my system is still working as I uh, as was designed like or installed like two two months ago. And this is the answer. So if I would like to see this intruder all the time, like here, uh, and somebody will move with my with my lidar, so for example, somebody will forget to cut the grass. Grass will be high like this. My uh, my lasers will return from from that size, and and this test will will, will fail because uh, the real uh, detectors will not catch me. So so this is this is like new things that you can you can prepare this test and do like penetration tests in the real time every day, which is very, very interesting. And the last thing is that we integrate the VR goggles uh, into our system, which is was asked for military because they would like to use this kind of uh, device rather than, uh, than to use the monitor. Uh, so we have a specific installation, like mobile version of this, and this is how our system is working. So we, we are supporting, uh, we are using the Oculus VR goggles, and you can see if the operator is moving, all the system is moving inside. You can see something uh, similar in, inside of this VR room. So our system is fully supporting this VR things also. So that's it from my side. If you will have some question, I can answer it now or later on. Uh, and you can, uh, you can find out all the information in our website, accuratevision.com.